So what I do in some cases, and this might be helpful for some of you as well, is if you're getting these sort of errors, that's because we have different date formats. So in Europe, we have day, month, year. In US, we have month, day, year. So it's a bit of a different logic there. So in order to convert these values into a date and time, but still make Power BI to be able to recognize it, you just highlight the columns that you want to convert. Essentially what you do is you highlight the column. Let's also find the start date column. There we go. Just so I don't have to do this twice. So once I have both of them highlighted, I right click, I go to change type, and instead of choosing date time, I use using locale. So what using locale allows you to do is to change the, the regional settings for that particular column or the way on how you read it. So you can see right here, right? It says text and automatically it detects that it's Latvian. So because text usually, if I'm from Latvia, comes in Latvian. So what I'm gonna say is it's actually gonna be a date and time. And this is the next important thing you need to pay attention to. Sample input values. This is the keyword for the locale. So you do not provide the locality on where you want the data to be rendered to but you actually provide the locality of the input data. So how it's coming into your data set. So in my case, it's gonna be English and I need to find USA. Do, 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 do. Let's quickly find it right here, United States. So date and time, English, United States. We know that it's United States because the data set is about Washington DC. So click okay. And you can see it converts without any issues. If I go back to the end date as well, where we had those issues, I don't have any issues anymore. So that's one neat little trick that can help you from time to time to just adjust the data set based on regional settings, based on the, the locality of your data set. And if you're working with different data sets from different regions, you can do this in Power Query, or you can also do this, like I said, on report settings. So if you want to do this report settings, you can go to your Power BI file itself, file right here in the top left. Then you go for options and settings, options. Let's open it quickly up, report settings. Oh, sorry, not, not report settings, but we need to regional settings. So here you can see locale for import and I can adjust this on per report basis as well. But if you know that only some columns are going to be affected, you don't need to change the currency or anything like that. So that's all fine. Pick one which works faster for you. And if you need to change it or you accidentally, for example, chose the wrong locality, remember that not all steps, but most of the steps where you're going to have some sort of a model window popping on, um, you're going to have the possibility of modifying it afterwards. So do we have the same change type with locale? We can click on it and adjust the modification that we did right here so I could switch to something else. Because the most common mistake here is, and remember I was doing it the same when I started off, is I just ignored this, right? I thought that, okay, that's just a sample. So I was always providing the locality where I wanted things to be transferred to. 